Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 87 of Enter the Gungeon, and I am here on the second floor, and I am standing by a black chest, and as you can see, some interesting things happened in a previous run, which I recorded, but without a voiceover, uh, so I probably put that in the beginning of this episode, which... Hopefully it was interesting. See, I trigger some things. Now, this has also been an interesting run, because on the first floor, on the in the first chest, I got the science cannon, which I then used to defeat the boss on the first floor, which was the bullet king. I then went to the shop and sold the science cannon to buy the gun knight armor, which gives armor on every floor. And um, it was pretty expensive. I also got the uh, iBomb companion app from the boss, which I also sold to be able to buy a key to open the other chest, which yielded me double vision, which I don't mind. Then I've been fighting um, on this floor with just the starting gun, which has worked out fine. I haven't been hit once on this run, which is nice. And I bought a key from the um, shop after buying the sling as well, which I'm going to use on the boss, of course. And I found, and then I teleported here and went into this chest room and found this black chest, which we are now going to open. Ooh. The Particulator is a nice weapon. Now, my plan for this run is to acquire as many pieces of the Gun Knight armor set as possible, and I believe there are three. The... actually four. Um, the armor, the greaves, uh, gauntlets, and the helmet. And I've been told that if you get all four at the same time, I don't know why I teleported here, um, something will happen. And I'm interested to see if I can make, trigger that. And I've all, I was also told that if you have, if you pick up a piece of the armor, you are more likely to find the other pieces later in the gungeon. So I'm going to try to survive for as long as I can, obviously, and see if we can't make that happen. So maybe using the Particulator is our best bet, along with double vision, might allow us to dispose of this boss pretty quickly. It's the Gorgon, so maybe... Maybe I just want to use the sling. Save the Particulator. Ah, dang it. Okay, no flawless. That's fine. I have a lot of armor. I have the piece that I started with. Then I think I picked one up on the first floor. Um, and then I found one on this floor, and I also got one from the armor piece when I went down to this floor as well. Ooh, pink one stone gives us health, basically compensates for the... Um, for not getting the master round. I can't afford that. We're going to have to destroy this chest, basically just to see if it happens to have armor in it. it could also have been a mimic, I guess. No, nope, it exploded. Oh well. I guess we are leaving then. No more armor pieces yet. But that's okay. We have plenty of chances to get four of them. Maybe that chest had one, which... That would have been annoying. So I didn't get enough keys to open that. I got none from the floor. And there was only one in the shop, which is very unfortunate. Also, of course, still on the lookout for 
escape bullets. Which I have seen a few, but I've killed them by accident or by being too quick on the trigger. Which is annoying. They do look quite a lot like regular bullets. That was close. But yeah. Hopefully I'll see more of them soon and not kill them. Ideally. Dang it. Should have rolled there, but oh well. We're doing fine still. Hopefully I'll get some... Dang it. Hopefully I'll get some keys on this floor to open some chests. I do definitely want more armor pieces. They will also, of course, give me more armor on each floor, because each item gives one bit of armor when you descend. That's going to be nice. Basically, free health. I wonder how many armor pieces you can have. I'm. There's most likely a maximum. Oh, nice. Got a key. Which is great. Can always use keys. An interesting thing that I've noticed now is that when you enter a room, all of the bullet kin spawn with their back towards the camera, so to speak. Which does exist in telling whether they are they have a cape or not. Of course. Because when they have their back turned, that is when the cape is most prominent. Unfortunately, that only works if you are if you see all of them when uh, just when you enter the room, which you obviously don't on the bigger rooms. Zuki. All right, let's see what we have in here. We have another key. No armor pieces, which means that they may be, if there are any, they are probably in chests in that case. Not really sure how that works. Ow. If something is... Dang it. of that. Only this minor bullet left. Okay, refill that I suppose. I think I'll start using this. Uh, still have to be watchful for capes though. 
special room here. Blank statue or altar. There is one. No, no. Dang it. Okay, it's going to die. Yeah. Great. Well, that wasn't my fault, at least. I hate when that happens. Ah, stupid poison. That has happened too many times. That's a bit annoying. Half the times it's been my fault that they've died because I've shot them, but the other half they've died from some kind of environmental hazard that I've had absolutely no control over. And because of those, the uh, the poisonous blob blobulons. I don't remember their actual name. Because they have multiple stages, it wouldn't have mattered if I killed them immediately. Because it would have popped into a different stage and kept spreading poison. Now ideally I would have run away from the keep bullet and led the uh, Blobulon away as well which might have prevented it, but that's not how it played out. Unfortunately. Alright, so we have two chests. I'm going to open one of them. Get the Gungeon Eagle. Dungeon Eagle. Alright. Let's buy the other key for the other one and open it up. I'm hoping to get another piece of the armor. Okay, no. Shotka Cola. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for. Speed boost is nice, though. Alright. Back to full health. That I would like to buy, but I can't afford it, and I probably won't be able to. Dang it. Glad I didn't activate the activate double vision there. There we go. Went pretty quickly. And we get the Polaris is pretty nice. Not much else going for us, though. Uh, 44 coins. I don't think that is enough for anything here. No. Everything costs 101. Let's pop into the regular shop quickly, see what we have. Uh, nothing interesting there either. Let's just head down to the next floor. I could use the blank to chance a secret room in a random room, but 
that's probably a waste of time. doing that. It's very important. I think we are still at two out of five, I'm guessing, still. Lots of bandanas, which I keep mistaking for capes at first. Nice, got reached level 2. Whoops. I apparently managed to click outside of the window there somehow. Always distressing when that happens right as I'm being shot at. Not be hit and lose the Polaris charge. Um, refill that probably. Switch back to this. You certainly don't have a cape. Ooh, that was close. I like the Polaris, it's a nice, pretty powerful weapon. That's a lot of ammo, too. And fires rapidly, which is always nice. Ooh, okay, hello. Alrighty. No capes visible. Level three. Which we'll get to keep as long as we don't get hit. Got a money drop, which is not really what I'm looking for. I'd rather have a key at this point. Although I suppose extra money would allow me to buy a key. No capes there. Or there. Or there, or there. Capes there either. Going pretty well still. There's the boss. We are probably going to wait. Taking that on until we have opened at least one chest. I still don't have a key, which is not good. And there's a chest room right there. Okay, which that probably leads to. Let's explore over here first. 
I would like to find the shop. Okay, to get that ghost bullet at least, which is nice. There's our key. More Polaris ammo. This is nice. Been here before. Special room up here. Gun muncher. Not really interested in that at the moment. I'm not, not that desperate. That was close. There's the shop. We'll see what's going on up in here. No armor pieces. Gun knight armor pieces, that is. Okay, so we only have this area left. And I just noticed that there are no teleporters down there. I have a key, so I'm going to keep that while we find the other chest. And I sincerely hope that there is a teleporter on the other side of this trap room down here. That was close. Ah, dang it. Back down to level two. With this. And we lost our armor. And that is an, a green chest. So I guess we're going to open the green chest and then take on the boss. Oh, shot bow. It's not not a favorite of mine. Not at all. Um Okay, it's the ball. We'll try to flawless if possible. Should be possible with this. Nice. Did it. Probably mostly thanks to double vision. We get table tech sight. Which isn't that great. And we didn't get any keys, so we're going to have to buy one, obviously. Because I want that other chest. I I do wonder if, if an item was in a chest that was destroyed, if that item can still appear later, or if it, each item can only spawn once. I also wonder if an item is assigned to a chest when you open it, or when the chest spawns. There's really no way to tell unless you know the code for that. Uh, so I think that is it. That is our floor. So we're going to pop down to the next one. I only have one armor piece, which is a little unfortunate. Still, still have to look for cape bullets. You do not have a cape. Need keys. Whoop. 
Neither of you have capes. Or you. Damn it. We got a shelaton. Pretty easily disposed though. Which is generally the case if there is a summoner that you can kill. I want that thing to die. I want a lot of things to die, I guess. Whoop, that was close. Okay, got the Ash shotgun kin at least. They fire a lot of bullets and are quite annoying. Back to level 3. I see a locked door, which is annoying. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Alright. Still going pretty well, I would say. You don't have a cape. That was slightly scary. Waiting for fire to go away. Oh nice, got a key just in time for the first chest room. There's a blue chest without a fuse, so we won't open that. We'll explore over in this direction. No capes there. It's a little annoying that they can still catch bullet just bullets just after the circle disappears. Got a free blank, which I guess is fine, although I preferred if it was a key. It's got ammo for the um, Polaris. No capes. And Go in this direction. Ooh. Okay, this room. Whoop. Okay, probably want to wait until that thing comes into view. And then we can safely teleport through the first bit. Okay. Other chest is green. Um, so I actually, no, we're going to wait uh, with that. Oh, something exploded there. Don't know what that was. Oh, 
Oh no. I hate those rooms. Yeah, yeah. Alright, got some ammo for something. Ah, I guess more ammo for the Polaris. I'm not really using anything else. Not sure it exploded there. Ah, dang it. No, dang it. Why did you have to teleport right there? Hate you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Of course I completely forgot I had table text sight. Alright. We do have a key for sale. Which if I buy it means I'm probably basically not going to be able to afford anything else except maybe this piece of armor. We're not going to get the bullet. So we don't get the completed armor set this time. It's very unfortunate. Because there are only two chests left and uh, two p uh, or three armor pieces. So even if I somehow got both of them. Oh! Table Tech Rocket. I haven't seen that before. Nice. Shame the dragon fight doesn't have tables. That would have been useful. So we're not getting the bullet from the blacksmith now, of course, because I don't want to go to the um, the past. Shame I lost the levels on the Polaris, or that would have been useful. Although I'm probably still going to use it. Although, I wonder if the sling does extra bonus damage against the dragon, because it's basically the biggest enemy in the game. <laughs> Bigger than all the other bosses. Or if it does the same bonus damage as against regular bosses. I honestly have no idea. Let's do this first, though. Three blanks, this is n it's nice. Okay, it's no flawless, which I guess doesn't really matter. Would have been nice though. Going to use the use double vision as much as possible. Okay, this is annoying. That was kind of a waste. Feels like.
All right, reached stage two with quite a bit of health actually. So now, ow. Well, I have a bit of quite a bit of health for now. Wonder what the best weapon to do this is. Probably this. Maybe. Maybe not. This, perhaps? Maybe the sling, actually. That actually looks like it's doing quite a bit of damage. One more should do it with the sling. Especially if I turn on double vision. And then, of course, we'll go back and end the game by using the gun. Get a bunch of credits. I have quite a bit of that now, 249. Pick that up for no particular reason head in here oh that scared me that's new bullet hell chamber six oh it's it's the sixth chamber Interesting. Kind of, kind of looks like a. These doors look like the Obliette ones. Oh, that's an Obliette enemy as well. Oh, you are a new enemy though. You're a little. Whoops! Dang it. Uh, imp bullet skin, I guess. Interesting. Okay, what's up here? That's not it. Ah. Okay. That's new as well. There's one of those spinny things. There's looks like or sounds like another one of those golem things. All right. Another one of those screaming faces. something new. Ow. Or maybe not. Something bounced and hit me from the wall. That's nice. What are you? Oh, you're a priest bullet? Dang it. You can die. You can die as well. Someone laughing in the background. Oh, nice. Free chest. Uh, plague pistols, probably not what I would have hoped for, but oh well. Oh, cursed enemies. Kill this lead maiden as quickly as possible. Is 
Still going pretty well. Still have a bunch of health. You can stop that, please. Oh. You too. Yes, turn into a chicken. Oh. I think that pile of whatever. Or you are new. Okay, so we've run out of ammo for that. Things down here seems to have a lot of health. And this episode will most likely be a longer than normal one, of course. You can stop that. You can stop that. No more buffing, please. Seems like the summoner died, which is very good. Got some a tiny amount of health back. You look very funky and shoot very funky, and I hate you. Ow. Fell into the void. Which fortunately is just a normal pit, despite the looks of it. Ooh, that was freaky. This is very much a bullet hell. That is very accurate. Very accurate name. And I wouldn't expect otherwise of Enter the Gungeon. Um, I think I'm going to switch to this. Get some homing shots. Why do you not target the closest enemy? What are you doing? Uh... I would... I'm expecting there to be some kind of a boss, a new one, probably, at the end of this floor, so I would like to retain as much health as possible. Can't forget I have that. Well, I can, but I shouldn't. Definitely shouldn't. Here, have an end table. I got someone with that. It's nice. It's a shame I can't position the tables before firing them, rocketing them. Shelton stuck there. No tables positioned in a usable fashion. Can do that, however. that one to get some health back though which is nice I don't expect whatever the boss is I don't expect to survive the first time I think I have a track record that shows that I won't I could potentially 
but most likely not. Maybe there are priests of caliber or something. Whoop. There is something else. Yes, you. That's it. No chests yet. Ooh. You are new as well. You are not, and I still hate you. Those things are freaky. And not freaky in a good way. Definitely not. Might want to save that for the boss, actually. I wonder if cape bullets can appear down here. I haven't. I don't think I've seen any regular bullet kin, so probably not. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. Hello. Three gun nuts. Alrighty. Well, this has been a very interesting episode, I think. Oh, great. Oh, come on. What is this? Huge enemy Friday? Well, it's not Friday, but... Ow. Crap. This is not going so well anymore. Could be going better. Hopefully I get some more health back. Is that it? No. Really. Probably should have used the Polaris more to level it up. Although, to be fair, if I, the amount I've gotten hit probably would have leveled it right down again. Ow. Like, right there. Oh, you're a static thing. Okay. Um, probably refill that. And you don't stop shooting when the room is cleared, I see. That's ever so slightly annoying. Yeesh. No rest for the wicked. Polaris is not doing a good job here. Yeesh. That's what hit me in the back. Yeah, kind of like that. In quite a few rooms ago. Where is this thing going? This is a giant floor. And there have been no chests yet, and I have a single heart left. Probably switch back to this to increase my chances of survival as much as possible. What the heck is that? Ah, dang it. Well, it looks like we have a new endgame. Fallen Bulletkin. Alright. So. Um, we're going to try that again in the next episode. Getting to the... Past the dragon, who will presumably get pulled into here again, I think. And... 
see if we can do better that time. So, with that, I will see you in the next episode.